So just get my new MSI Prestige 14 inch Evo here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the 512 gigabyte hard drive with this two terabyte crucial uh, 3.5 gigabyte uh, transfer rate. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, you know show you step by step how to do that. So uh, you know basically there's six screws here in the back. So if I reverse this over, you can see there's um, you know one screw here, there, and right here. Same with the other side. So I'm just going to flip it over and uh, you know go through this process. So I've removed the six screws here, and now there's actually a screw that's going to be in the center. So it is blocked by a sticker that's called factory sealed. So that's kind of pretty tricky of them. Now if I remove this and I have that one screw in the middle, Obviously, I am going to void the warranty, and I uh, guess I'll be going ahead and doing that. So I'm going to zoom in here for this one last screw. So you can see it's right in the middle of the factory seal. And, um, you know, I've already loosened it. So I just took this out with my fingernails. And that's how this particular screw looks like, right in the middle. So what I did was I took this type of packaging plastic. So you can see normally it's this uh, pretty rigid plastic and yet it's pretty thin. So this is the type of plastic that I used. So if you have a guitar pick, that will be ideal too. But if you don't, this is what you can do. So I, I started from that corner and I stuck this in there. And then once I stuck it into that corner, you could see there's already a gap. So I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to run that all the way across being sure to not touch any of the sides there. So you, you notice when I took that out, that kind of uh, came out. But if, if I just, you know, uh, you know, dig in like so. So I'm going to need two hands for this and it's going to be hard to um, demonstrate. But you could see here that, uh, you know, that's how you're going to do it. So this is actually the hardest part. So once again, what I'm going to do here is take this plastic and put it into the side here. And now you, you can see it's lifted. So let me, let me try to do it again to lift it up. And running it through right under. Running it right under. So you can see the gap here. The gap is lifted. Now if I so that already snapped out. Now now I'm gonna run it through. You know, all the way. As you can see. You know, now now I'm just running it through the corners um, just to pry it open and it helps if if I actually cut this into two so if I cut this into two then I could jam it on its side also so you, you don't need any real special equipment here uh, just more of these so you could see right now if I have this you know if I had two of these that's basically it and, and basically I, I'm already lifting this like so, you know, j just from this side. So if I had the same thing on the other side, so that's how you would kind of, you know, pry this open. So basically that, that's all I'm doing now is I'm just running this through the entire surface. So you could see on that side, so, so this corner is out now. And now I'm, I'm just running it through, be, being careful to still be gentle. <laughs> so, so I want to still be gentle, but at the same time, uh, you know, you're, you're really snapping these out. So you're kind of like snapping these out on this side. You can see. every time this pops out and, and eventually you know it just pops out like that and once again all I'm using is basically kind of like a lot of tech packaging 
you know, this is for like SD cards or whatever. It's like nice and thin and it allows you to reach in there. Um, now, I did start on this particular corner here because that's, that's what had the most exposure. So right now, um, just have to stick this back in and, you know, lift this out, you know. So now that I lifted this out and up, um, now just to go through kind of like every inch of this, zooming in. Now the hard drive is actually underneath here. So this is actually just electrical tape. Like it's a big old electrical tape. So I'm going to take this out here. And... You know, peel it back. So, so that's the memory. So the memory's not. Up, oops. So the memory is actually not upgradable because it's just soldered on. So that's the LPD whatever, uh, DDR LB. I think it's LB DDR. So if I just pan back out, and the only thing that's really upgradable is actually replacing the battery itself. So just um, giving you a close up of here, the battery, and then also the hard drive. So the hard drive is just behind here. And that's the LAN. So if, so if that LAN ever breaks, the wireless LAN there, you can replace that too. And then, you know, just checking out some of this stuff and maybe you could dust out, you know, certain things. Um, but nothing is really all that replaceable. Like so. And once again, I am basically replacing it with this uh, Crucial P3 2 terabyte. ahead and start at it with just just this one particular screw so so this is the screw that's the only screw that I have to take out so I'm gonna angle this like so and I'm gonna get to work and show you that now I did buy this crucial for just $75 and keep in mind this is a two terabyte so I will have that link in the description area and um, if you use that link, uh, that will support this channel. So this is what I'm going to replace it with. So I'm going to go ahead now and just basically take out this screw. So just unscrewing this. And again, it's harder for me because I'm doing this uh, live on camera. So I'm kind of limited with my fingers and not blocking not blocking the view so I'm going to remove this so this is actually a micron micron right here and this is an NVMe you know 3.5 gigabyte transfer rate per second so this is crazy fast so just to zoom in here and give you another look so, so that is just, I'm just going to stick that right in there, like that. So again, kind of tricky, trying to do this uh, in the camera, with the camera. So right there, just aligning, aligning that. Right there, just aligning it. There's really only one way to do it, and it's going to be angled. So it's going to be angled like that, and then you're basically going to push it back down, and then screw it in. So just making sure it's actually in there. Pushing this down. Pushing this down. Putting that screw... Well, you see that? Uh, that magnet. There's basically a speaker magnet there. 
So that, that was uh, kind of interesting. Oh boy. <laughs> so, so the speaker magnet is kind of grabbing the screw. So that's going to be interesting. Jeez, that's, that's a strong, strong magnet. So, so now the magnet's interfering. I'm going to put that in there. And screw it in. right not too you know not tight just uh you know snug i'm not even turning it just making sure it's tight now and then putting this heat shield over it so just putting this heat shield over this again and sticking this on and that's how it is like so and this is the old one. So one thing I do want to mention, I already cloned this. I, I already cloned this before I took it apart. So I have another video that shows how to clone this hard drive. So after I've put this crucial in there, I am going to clone that hard drive from here. And I save the image into this disk drive. And I'm going to copy this image and replace it on the two terabyte. So this 512 was the original. I clone this disk, put it at the image here using Clonezilla, and then I'm going to copy it back into this crucial uh, hard drive. So that is actually how I uh, clone the hard drive itself. And look for the link at the bottom in the description area for that Clonezilla hard drive uh, cloning. Okay, so now things are looking pretty good. So I'm going to now replace the cover. So I'm going to show you the cover so you could get a decent idea of, you know, how the cover in the back is. So that's how the cover actually looks. You know, so so these are the things that are kind of snapping in right there. So so that's kind of what you're trying to snap out. So 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 if you get an idea of actually how the stuff is put in, you basically have a better idea of how to take the stuff out. So that's why I'm showing you all around this outside cover. And of course, keep in mind I have this reverse. That this is actually the screen side with this cover in the back here. And those are the screws where the screws belong. But once again, the snap-ins is what I was snapping out as I was running this basically this plastic thing over it and on this side so the the other thing I wanna stress while you're doing this and you're you're basically you know putting this in you know you wanna make sure not to damage any of these things so just having you know this view this particular view to check out you know to, to not stick that in too deep you know, just stick it in a quarter of an inch. You know, sticking this thing in a quarter of an inch is going to do it. So, you know, don't snag those wires. So, so that's why I'm giving you an up-close view here is, you know, try not to snag anything that's loose or that's fragile on the sides. And now, you know, concentrating on the screen itself, like so. And hopefully now you have a good idea of how that looks. So now I am going to replace the cover. And I'm going to try to do this live. Like just snapping in the cover so you could get a decent view. So this is going to be easier to do after you've seen me do it. Um, and because you're not doing it on camera, it's going to be easier. So I'm, I'm simply seating this in. You know, make sure not to, you know, make, make sure it's actually nice and in. And once you snap it in, you basically replace these screws. So, so already, you know, it's gonna, so tap it gently and it's gonna snap in. You hear that noise that it's like snapped in already. 
So I'm gently just squeezing this and you can hear that snap in. So I'm just gonna go along the side and then squeezing this. You notice I have it lifted from the screen, so I'm not pushing on the screen as I am replacing this. So it's just very gentle <laughs> because it's not, it doesn't really take much to, to actually have it, you know, snapping in. So I'm just squeezing it all, you know, squeezing it all right there. So now when I get to the back hinge here, you, you can see how there's still that gap. So I was slowly pushing it from the corner. So I'm slowly pushing it in the corner and then like snapping it in. So you can hear that snap in, that snap in, those snapping in up until you get to this corner. Then I'm going to lightly go around again. So, you know, just checking out the edges, making sure. But that's how you would replace the cover itself. So now I have my Clonezilla USB in there. I'm going to boot up and I'm going to keep on hitting delete. So right here is my USB with Clonezilla. I'm going to keep on hitting delete to get into the BIOS. And then I'm going to set the BIOS to boot off of my USB. So if I move over to the boot, you'll notice that that is my PNY USB drive. So that is the boot option, the first boot order. So I'm all set here, but um, you know, for you, if you needed to change the boot order in order to you know, boot up to a USB drive or Clonezilla, that's how you would do it. Now I am gonna you know, exit out and just boot up. So now it's just restoring the partitions from this uh, hard drive here. USB hard drive, my trusty Western Digital Easy Store. So just zooming in. This I believe is really the last one. It's at 97% now. So there's about five partitions that it has to restore. So if you follow my instructions on saving the image onto the USB hard drive, and keep in mind, this particular laptop only has one USB input. So you're gonna have to follow my instructions to actually create a RAM disk using Clonezilla. So just keep that in mind and definitely follow the instructions step by step. And if you get stuck, just message me in the comment section and I'll answer. I usually do answer those comments and questions. So right now it's basically done. Um, if I just zoom in on the text here, you know, it's, it's just telling me to, you know, hit, hit enter. Um, you know, ju just hit enter and, uh, you know, it's basically restored. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit enter, and once I hit enter, it's basically telling me to power off or reboot. So I am going to power off, and this basically will would have copied the Windows 11 from that particular hard drive onto the new one. And at this point, it's just going to power off, and once I boot, um, I basically have cloned my hard drive using Clonezilla.